everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anybody out there? Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide to people. Androbot, locate human. Damn! a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. <gasps> Maybe. Artie, default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Earlier. Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello, anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ugh, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther in the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I, I was just about to examine him. <laughs> Dr. Crowther. Please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. The conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders, and there were no visible injuries. So I, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hop along. Please look for the mission log, which would include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Dr. Crowther kept records. 
Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting... 3360. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Oh, got it. Please make sure it works. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? Just look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Oh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely full. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? Is it going to work? We'll see. Systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> the positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Well, you can see that he really wants to go, but he still can't. Uh, please check his exit. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go get the rest while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir.
I found the area marked by Dr. Krauter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area, but before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That, I don't know, fortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Got someone. I'm following the signal. Signals coming from a cast of backpack. That's concerning. Getting close. I still don't see anyone though. Marit! I see her! What's her condition? Marit! 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 